obviously it's nice to get back in the team. Um, so obviously for me as a striker, it's good to score goals. So um, to get a goal is um, good, but I think I'd rather have the three points really. Um, I think that are quite, fans are quite good to me really. Obviously, um, uh, probably I don't play played a lot this season, so obviously I haven't produced the goods I've like, played enough. But when I think I play, I think um, they get behind me a lot. I think the fans have been great. But obviously when we're um, losing, they're going to get on our backs a bit. But I think they pay their money, so they deserve, uh, deserve the boys giving 100% of if we, they think we're not, they deserve to have a go at us. But um, other than that, I think the fans have been great. Um, you never know with Paul, because he likes it. We've, we've got a lot of experienced players in now. We've got Finney still waiting in the wings. We've got um, Daniel Nardiello doing well. So um, there's a lot of um, fight for places. If you're not producing, I think you could get left out of the team. So as long as me personally keeps scoring and doing well, hopefully I'll get a few more starts. Um, I've only worked my contract runs out in the season, so um, I've got to just keep working hard. And um, obviously, um, if I can keep scoring and doing well, hopefully I can have myself another contract. But um, if not, um, I've had a great time here. And hopefully I'll just, well, just keep having a good end to the season here. My best goal was um, probably the Robin one because it meant so much for the fans to get them um, to League One. So I think that was probably my um, favourite goal. But I obviously, did enjoy the Torquay one as well because that was one of the best games I've ever played in my um, career. So um, that's up there as well. But for me, the Robin goal was um, a good goal to get them win to get the promotion. That was a, a, a large, very large loss of Matthew Oakley that had certainly steadied our ship and given our team some structure uh, during a difficult period in September and October. Um, so he certainly helped. He went back injured. Um, and again, you know, haven't been able to field the sort of side I wanted. There's been, there hasn't been continuity in training and, and selection. Um, but um, other than that, I'm not, you know, I'm not too um, concerned. I'm certainly, I'm certainly professionally challenged, but I'm not, I'm not concerned about things other than we have got those points you mentioned. So um, I've got a fully fit squad of players, competition for places. I've been able to drill over the last week or two constants with our, our play and um, with time with with some continuity at word again that continuity I'm, I'm assuming and hoping and um, that we will get those results and those points no no I have no money to look I'm not actively looking to move players out there's no players who are available transfer or loan, other than some of the young players who are not featuring in the team. Um, every now and then something crops up where you, have a ch where you have an option where someone actually inquires about a player of yours, be it loan or transfer, and then you, you decide the value of that player um, financially that you, you're going to receive, either by loan fee or transfer fee, and you can equate that against the loss of that player and maybe what you could bring in to replace it. It's just a, a simple a simple. Uh, decision and debate that you have every time that inquiry comes in. We're not looking to move any players out. I, I'm, I'm happy with the players. They're all, I think, going to feature and contribute more in the second half of the season than the first. Um, it's probably at that point where with the players, with their performances, with their efficiency, like buying shares, it's time to buy, uh, buy now. I think they're all going to have a good second half of the season. Yeah, well, we go through the same process every month. We ask Reading for permission to re-sign him. We ask Jake, would you like to stay? For the previous five, six months, we had the yes straight away from Jake. We've had a yes kindly from Reading. And um, that's now been confirmed for January. And we'll go through the same process at the end of January. I'm hoping that it will continue. They have the, the say, the pull, the decision to pull him back. Um, he's currently injured. I don't think it's too bad. I don't think he's going to be out for more than a week or two. Um, so, very pleased to have him here. But it's been the same process every month. Everyone else is fit and available.